What's up, team? Let's see what we got here. Woman tries to purchase a laptop from Best Buy with another woman's ID card. Let's meet the woman. She got caught by a Best Buy employee. <laughs> the cops wasn't even on scene when she got caught. She's trying to walk out the entrance. They hooked her up with all the pamphlets and stuff, knowing she's trying to scam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that real? The consensus is that's a BBL. What do y'all think? BBL or is that her natural body? Yeah? No? Natural? Or is it snatched? Did she get her waist snatched? Back transfer? I don't know. What do I think? Where'd you get this ID from? I'll tell you later. That's not me. That's not you? No. Looks like you. That's not me. That looks like you. That is not that does not look like me. Ain't that what you just tried to buy the laptop with? Is that the laptop in his hand right there? I'm not going nowhere. I'm so wait, she almost got away with it and then they caught her? Hold on real quick. Yeah, he got the computer right there in his hand. So it looks like she almost got away with it. I'm not going nowhere. I'm trying to make sure that's not Yeah, you can move over here. Okay. You're not even the officer. I'm not talking to you. She got an attitude. She was almost out the door. Yeah. The two other guys that came with her. Uh, I didn't come with that guy. Was asking me for my number actually, and I was trying to move. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not talking to you. So you said two other guys. What the camera? There was one guy out. there following me, yeah, asking for my number. Yeah. 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 She holding the other guys down. Yeah. You don't want to my partner. Okay. You not talking to her over there. To her. Yes. What's going on? No, he's saying that I was doing fraud with another guy, but I walked in, right? I'm sorry, the sun is in my face. Here, let me, let's, uh, here, let's go over this way just oh. so we don't get the sun in your eyes. While I was waiting for him, some guy came behind me. He was asking me for my social media and my number, and I'm like, uh, no, I have a boyfriend. Like, leave me alone. And he thinks I was with the guy doing fraud. Okay, all right. Uh, so you were just in your child. You think, you think the one that she came with was the one that got her to BBL? She like, man, he done hooked me up. He done took me out to Columbia. He spent like 10 grand to get my whole body fixed. And I'm not giving him up. I am not giving him up. I will go to jail for this man. Well. Yeah, I was looking at um the laptops and I had asked him for uh, a laptop, but that was about it. I didn't purchase nothing. I don't have nothing. Okay. Did you try to open a credit card? No, I didn't. You did not? He gave I asked for the information. He gave me all the information. What do you did mean? Did you provide an ID at that point? Like, no. here's my credentials? No. You did not? No, I was going to try to purchase um a laptop depending on the price of it. Sure. And he just said, okay, he got the laptop, went back there, and never came back. Okay. And then what, when he came back... What laptop back, are you looking to buy? Um... He had is a surface pro water and then I'll go up here. Uh, all right, well, that's why we're here. So we okay. got to figure out what's going on okay. and then barring whatever. You could tell she's lying. And how you know this is because someone else sent her in and basically just was like, get this laptop. All you got to do is do this and do this. She don't even know what type of laptop she was trying to buy. She has no idea anything about computer about computers whatsoever. She barely knows what a Surface Pro is. If they asked her what it is, she'd be like, huh? Uh, what hard drive size is it? How many inches is the screen? Were you going to get the the detachable keyboard with it? You getting any accessories? Like, she, don't, she doesn't know what's going on at all. She's literally just told what to do, and that's why she's scrambling right now. Got here, so I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. So, um, what time did you get here? Do you know about... Like, um, 30, 40 minutes ago, 10, 20 minutes ago? It's uh, 6.55 now. Um, not even, um, maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. What's your last name? Oh, How do I spell that? What's your first name? Jeanette.
Um, I don't, I don't know because I'm here for vacation. Um, oh, where are you from? I'm from New York oh, okay. originally. Yeah. Um, can I answer? Because I had um left the Uber and I didn't even I had like two edges so he could take me back. You were the Uber? Yeah. What? He left. So. Okay. Yeah. Just let him know it's gonna be a minute. All right. Give me one second. Okay. Just stay over here though. Okay. So, so the guy's calling her, knowing that she's detained by the police, just making her more hot. They're over there trying to make sure she don't say nothing. <laughs> so this part's funny, right? She's going to say something in Spanish right here. And what she actually tells the guy before she tries to play it off, as if she's talking to an Uber, what she's not. She's talking to her accomplices. She says, I'm screwed in Spanish. You're going to hear it right now. Hello? That was it right there. Hello? I'm screwed is what she said in Spanish. So you walked in trying to buy a laptop. I was asking for the price, okay. right? And so they they came up to you. You're like, you're interested oh. in this laptop, the employee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They went to the I back. They never came back. Yeah, he went to the back. And, and then you went up to the line. What line? No, I was there the whole time. Oh, where? The register. Right over here. Yeah. Okay. And, um, I was asking where did he go? Um, to the other employees, and he said he was trying to get something from a printer to work or something like that. And then when he came back, right. I was about to walk out, and then. Right yeah, before I, I was about to walk out, he ran behind me, and the officer came in. Okay. What about these guys? You said there were some I, guys. No, that they, came. they could check the camera. There was a guy. I'm standing on one of these aisles, and a guy came behind me asking me for my Instagram and cell phone number. They've already checked the camera. The dark guy, they know you're lying. Him, oh, I don't have. He's like, so you don't have social media? I'm like, no, I have a boyfriend. You said it was a dark skin guy. Yeah, he had like braids. All the dreads. Dreads, dreads or braids? I don't know. And a hat. Did he have anything um, else like tattoos? The cop said dreads because he already knows that the dude had dreads. She tried to play it off like he had braids, but the camera shows he had dreads. So, like, that tells the cop, that says the cop's already seen the video. The cop wasn't too good with acting like he didn't see the video. No, I didn't notice. What was he wearing? I swear, I, I wasn't even trying to look at him because I didn't want no eye contact with him, but he was like literally right behind me. Okay. I was the, oh, right where the TV is curved. That's where, where I was standing. And he came behind me asking me for my information. Okay. Do you have an ID on you? Uh, no, I don't. You don't? Okay. Okay, sounds good. Take your time. All right, we'll wait here and then my partner will come talk to you and then we'll okay. get going from there. But you're saying you don't know this guy. The lies are about to start mounting up like even more. The camera, you could, well, I mean, I don't know if they could hear at least. Sure. They could hear him asking me for my number. Well, you're saying he's kind of brushed media. him off, right? Yeah, I, I, tried not, I turned around and I'm like, oh no. He's like, before you go back to the guy, because he was helping me, then he left and he was like, before you go to the other guy, can I have your phone number or your social media? And I said, no, that I didn't have, that I didn't have social media. And I couldn't give him my number. The more I listen to this, the more I feel like her accomplices made the whole situation hot. They hovering around her you know, looking suspicious. They probably wasn't dressed the right way. You know, hair all over the place. Probably smell like weed and black and mild, pants sagging, rhinestone jeans, poo shiesty mask pulled down under her neck, a Miri shirt with grape stains on it, Air Force Ones, white, off color dirty, and she over here trying to just be a stupid woman. I don't know anything. I just want to buy a laptop for my kid. I just need any type of computer. Just what do you suggest I get, sir? Whatever you think is the best laptop. I don't know what's going on. I'm foolish enough to buy a Best Buy credit card or apply for a Best Buy credit card. Like That's basically how she came in there, right? And these dudes over here making her hot, all thirsty. She probably would have got away with it if it wasn't for the accomplices. I don't at all. Okay. How'd you get here today? In an Uber. You Uber? Okay. Are you staying low, like in a hotel in the local area? Or? Yeah, well, I already checked out the hotel. Where are you staying? And, um... Ooh! Come on. 
Please. Don't ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered immediately. <laughs> Bro. He simply asked her what hotel she was at, and she stuck. She don't know what to say. She about to turn into... Stop. <laughs> Hold on, look at her face, bro. All he did was ask you what hotel you were. You didn't have his ready? Staying local, like in a hotel in the local area? Or? Look at this. Yeah, well, I already checked out the hotel. Where are we staying? You just checked and, out? Um, Try in New York, please. Don't ask you a bunch of questions. I was at the Hyatt. I was at the Embassy Suites. I was at the Westin. I was at the Hilton. Polo Club. I was at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> I mean, anything. And you know what hotels and motels are always around? The Super 8 and the Motel 6, they're everywhere. Those roach infested, grimy, bed bug ridden, Crime infested, your car is getting broken into. As soon as you step out of it, there's a criminal already in there hot wiring it before you can even walk in the door of the motel. You walk in there, they got, pri they got security bulletproof glass between you and the clerk. You got to slide your ID through a little card slot. If you ever are trying to just figure out a quick hotel to say, just say, I was at the, I'm at the Motel 6. They're everywhere. You don't even got to give them a location. Which one? The one down the street. There's always a Motel 6 down the street. So let me help you out, lady. She's over here stuck. It was the, um... The, 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 the. Oh, my God. I fucking hate myself right now. <laughs> right. What do you mean? You must learn what you have learned. I know she ain't on her phone looking up. Okay. She on her phone looking up hotels near me. I wish the officer would have just been like, can you show me what you're looking at right now? <laughs> She's in the... She didn't even have time to type it out. Hotels near me. That's what happens. You pull it up. You got the hotel near me. <laughs> she over here... Um. I'm at the Midway Hotel, Quality Inn. She over here trying to figure out which one. The Double Tree, the Hampton. Hey, I pulled it up. Let me see. Did I get it? Damn, I don't got a I don't got a Motel Six near me. Quality Inn. Yeah, use the Quality Inn. There's always a Quality Inn next to you too. If you can't get a, a, a Super 8, a Motel 6, a Quality Inn is going to be near you. One of those three hotels, I forgot all about the Quality Inn. But I would have came up with something. I would have just said anything. <laughs> uh. no. Are you out in New York? If I'm out of New York? Like, do you live in New York? Yes, I do. That's where your driver's license is out. Yeah. Your government ID? Yes, I'm in New York. My record, yes. Okay, because we're not getting anything back on there, which means that you don't I exist. Never been, I never been arrested. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like your driver's license. Um, so that yes. means no, you're... Yes, yes. I've never been arrested. No? No. Okay. When I was in middle school for fighting and stuff like that, but not... Uh, that's, that's nonsense. Yeah. How long you live in New York? Yeah, oh, my life. Out of uh, yeah. New York. Okay, thank you. All right, like I said, we'll wait for him to come over and then see what's going on here. Okay. All right, I don't know if I missed it. Where'd you say you were staying? I just check out, so I'm not gonna lie. I come here and work like at the strip clubs and stuff okay. like that. And yeah, no worries. I do that like sometimes in different states. Or, okay. You know, but were you staying in the city or were you staying out of the suburb? Yeah, yeah. Like, where are you staying in Chicago, or are you staying yeah, in yeah. Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, and then I just go, like, every time I work at... What are you club, talking about? So, next club, the next day, I stay on near hotel from there, or okay. Airbnb's and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So, do you come for, like, extended... What do you mean? Or just a couple days? Or? No, this is my first time here. He's not even asking hard, tough questions. I pray... This is all stuff that you should be able to come up with immediately. Sure. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if they have like audio. Yeah. I don't know how the cameras work here, to be honest. Well, I hope if they do so, just, at least just so he could feel stupid because I I would understand, but we definitely didn't look like we was together. Sure. But maybe because he saw him with his phone in his hand trying to talk to him, maybe he's like, I don't know what's up. Yeah, you know how it goes when you're watching something from kind of a distance. You can't really tell what's going on. Yeah. See, he should have prepped you properly before you got in the store. What to say to the cops, exactly what laptop to get. You should have recited over what you were supposed to get. But you're over there looking like a fool in the store because you don't know anything about laptops or electronics. So he's over there trying to tell you, act like he's not with you, but he's bumping up to you. Hey, get the Surface. I said the 256 gig, not the 512. The 512 is going to push us over the limit. It's going to trigger the response. Because she over there, like, the dude over there talking her into something that they told her not to get. That's what was happening. I could guarantee what happened, team. She's over there, and the, the, the Best Buy employee's over there trying to upsell her. He trying to get her to buy extra hard drives and, and protective covers and all kind of extra accessories and get the highest gig available. And dude's like, before they went in there, they said, get the 256 gig base model this dude done talked to her into getting a fifteen hundred dollar model and he's over there like don't get to, don't listen to him and she ain't listening so now the dude's over here like what, what is going on with these two and he put two and two together and he called the police this is all the dude's fault in my opinion but she's not any better <laughs> when you heading back to new york I was just trying to make money to pay my freaking bills and then I didn't even have like flight or anything to get, yeah. No shit. What? Come on, man. I'm going through a hard time and I have kids and bills and... How many kids? Come on, man. Uh, now you're using your kids, you got bills. Okay, so tell me this. You're just trying to make some money. You got kids, you're out of town, you got bills, you got no ID, you just check out of a hotel, you don't even know what it is, and you're trying to buy a $1,500 laptop on credit at Best Buy. You don't see how this is complete chaos, woman? I mean, you weren't prepared for any of this? She's probably gonna go to jail no matter what, but she could have, you know, maneuvered this a lot better. Got two kids? It's about a dude that was asking for your number. Sending your baby mom out to do this is crazy. Huh? This is Jeanette. Hey, Jeanette, what, what brought you into that? So I just came out here, like I was selling my dance at strip clubs and, and from city to city. And then I came in. All right, we got a view right now. So earlier in the video, I asked y'all, do you think she has a snatched waist? Snatch stomach, you know, fat transfer, Brazilian butt lift. And y'all want to know what I thought. I asked y'all first. What I think is yes, I do think. Her body doesn't look like it. she naturally has an ass that size. It just doesn't. But it doesn't look like it's... Uh, doesn't look like it was done correctly to me. It looks like a cheap job. Looks like a very cheap job. I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to get a laptop, but I didn't even purchase anything. I didn't, I didn't get anything. Okay, well, did you give them anything up there? The ID. You gave them the ID? Yeah. And that's not you? Really? It's not me, it's someone that looks like me. Okay, what we're gonna do is we have to place you under arrest for possession of fraudulent ID, so if you could try and you back. Okay. And I left my bag in the Uber, so I, I don't know. Okay. I didn't even sure take an Uber there. Can I text my mom and let her know? I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll let you call. Text your mom? Okay. 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 She's a complete liar. Right? And why is people's first nature to lie? This is too tight on this side. I kind of understand the cops. Because the cops will lie to you. The cops lie all the time. It's legal for them to lie. But, you know, your first thought process to be to lie is just crazy. 
Is that all your bag? Yeah, I'll be I got your bag. Huh? Let go of your bag. Yeah. We're going to walk outside. Oh. Failure. The walk of shame. Walking out in cunk in in cuffs into the sunset. Is your mom living in Illinois? You apparently live in Illinois? They're gonna continue to walk into the car put her in a patrol car and take her to jail. And she is gonna catch one single charge of identity theft. And that's gonna be her story. And um, yeah, she put herself in a very bad position. She wasn't ready. Her swag was not on point and you know, the people did not prep her correctly to go in there and fraud a laptop. Like, I mean, listen, Best Buy employees are not the police. If you get caught by a Best Buy employee, you failed, man. I mean, they probably have slight training as far as some of the small things to look out for. But these people are not like well-versed in catching criminals, right? This, this is not their job. They're trying to sell you electronics and get their picture on the wall and get a five-star for the month. They want to be employee of the month. They're not trying to be a criminal catcher of the month. Although, I wonder if that one guy is going to get his picture on the wall for a month as employee of the month for catching this criminal girl. Uh, let's see, what do you want to go to? We can go light. We can go light. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people that are at fault in this video. And I don't even blame her as much. I blame her accomplices for sending in there, sending in, sending her in there and not prepared. Right? She didn't work the cashier. I mean, you seen how she looks. You seen how the woman looks. Is that anything I don't, I don't... Hold on real quick. Let me go back. Let me go back. So, oh, let me pull this up real quick. Pull this up for y'all. Okay, look. She's a good looking woman to some. Some maybe not so much. I mean, me, she's not really my type exactly. However, there's many that will find her attractive. So the first thing that you gotta do, all right, we're gonna go back to undirected perspective. I'm gonna help her out for next time and help her accomplices out for next time. And y'all better donate to the video after I give y'all this game. So the first thing that you do is you get everything down 100% and you don't let them upsell you so you end up outside of your credit limit, right? So you don't end up getting denied. So if you know that you're gonna have a certain limit as far as what you're gonna be approved for, you don't go high to begin with, right? Best Buy credit cards are fairly easy to get, all right? I don't even know if Best Buy is the place that you should use to do this first because they're targeted a lot. But if you are going to go into Best Buy, the first thing that you have to understand is you want to find the right person to have help you, okay? She clearly picked the wrong guy, all right? She picked a guy that doesn't do nothing but watch detective movies, anime, and is able to spot a criminal and a thief and a liar immediately. And he has no type of energy towards making sexual advances at you. So now your whole physique and your whole body makeup that you put together is not even effective, right? You know, so that's the first thing you got to remember is the is the person that you approach. Now, she should have got with a hood ninja, right? A dude that works at Best Buy. He knows a couple of, you know, he kind of blends in a little bit, but you can still tell he's hood when he goes home, but he knows how to throw on a white voice. Hey, how's it going, ma'am? 
But when he gets home, he really like, yo, Ray Ray, hey, man, I'm about to get at you in this 2K, nigga. Yo, roll, roll something up, man. Roll something up, Ray Ray. You got you to gotta get one of them dudes. You know what I'm saying? He might have locks in his hair. He might not. He might have a little, you know, fro going on. Or you can get one of the, you know, wavy hair, light skinned dudes. You know what I mean? But you got to get, for her, the way she looks, right? This woman, you got to get a black guy as a target. At minimum, you can go Mexican. But you, woman, just stay away from the white dudes. The white dudes want nothing to do with you. They already know that you're trying to use them. The only time they're going to holler at you, they're going to find you. And it's going to be on an escort dating website, okay? It's going to be on an escort website. And they're going to have a, a weird fetish. And they're going to, you know, like that. And then, you know, but you're not going to catch them working at Best Buy, all right? So that was where you made your first mistake. Because a gullible ninja that thought that he was going to get at you, the cops never would have got called. At minimum, he would have said, hey, sorry, um, you know, your application failed. He going to look right at the ID and know it ain't you and know what you're on. But he going to play along with it. Y'all know I'm right, team. Now, that's, that's, that's the first thing that you got to remember, okay? No, not that one. That's the first thing that you got to understand. What did I want? I want you to must unlearn what you have learned. Okay? Now, second thing is this. Stop letting the Best Buy people and customer service lead you where they want you to go, all right? You go in there on a mission and you tell them what you gonna do, all right? You don't let them hold on to your ID for longer than they need to and sit there and look all suspicious. And the second that you know something's about to go down, you get up out of there, right? Now, she probably lied and, you know, she said she's from New York or whatever the case is. She's probably from in town. But especially if you're from out of town, like you're in, I don't even know what state they're in. Whatever state they're in, though, obviously it's not New York. I think they're in Chicago. Um, if you are from New York and you're actually just, then all you got to do is just get out the store and get out of there before the cops arrive. And it always takes the cops a long time. Second, you know something ain't right. Just take the ID and leave. Or it ain't even you. You can just leave the ID, really. As long as they don't catch you on the scene and you're going to be out of town anyways and you're going to be back, you're good. They're not going to come find you for this. They catch you on the scene, you're cooked. Um, the last thing I'll say, the last thing I'll say, do not go in the store and look suspicious. You have to play your part in your character to a T and you cannot break form and habit. Now what happened, and that's why I blame the accomplices when they were over there trying to tell her, no, get that one, get that one, they're over there, don't get that. And she was actually pretty good, like, nah, they were just trying to talk to me, but hey, look, woman, guys ain't approaching women like they be acting like no more. Women is not getting approached on the street like women be trying to make it seem like. So, you know, you can throw that out the window too, but anyways, those are just a couple of things without me going into extreme detail. For that, I would have to start a Patreon and then it'd have to be different tiers to get more information. I'm just going light because this is a YouTube video. So, you know, we can't go all the way in, right? We can't go all the way in on YouTube. I can't be teaching y'all a master class on how to get away with identity theft on YouTube. Not that I have any experience in it, okay? Me? Dot sell the undirected guy. I'm not a criminal. All right. I just like to watch and follow criminals and, you know, do commentary videos on them because they are extremely intriguing to me. So that's part of it. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. I appreciate y'all team. Y'all are the best audience on the Internet of Things. I am out of here. Goodbye. Peace. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Should have got one of them DVDs on the wall first and then went for something bigger after that. Just get the card open and then you can go from there. Trying to buy a laptop right away.